Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at quality of service. Specifically within QoS, we're going to be taking a closer look at what's known as low latency queuing. So one of the first things that we're going to learn about low latency queuing is, is that it is indeed another form of congestion management. Whereas when congestion occurs across the link, we are going to use our low latency queuing strategy to prioritize or allow one of our queues of traffic to have priority over the other queues. And again, the way this is going to work is that this traffic specified with the priority is going to be dequeued first and be guaranteed a amount of bandwidth. So what we're going to see with low latency queuing is that it is most commonly used in conjunction with voice traffic because of the because voice traffic is very sensitive to any amount of delay and jitter. So low latency queuing is another thing we're going to find out about LLQ is that it is like class based weighted fair queuing in which it uses the Cisco MQC, which is the Cisco modular quality service command line interface. So again we're going to define our classes, our class maps, then we're going to define a policy map. We're going to apply the classes to the policy map and then we're going to apply the service policy or policy map to the interface. The only difference between class-based weighted fair queuing and low latency queuing is that we're going to see that with class-based weighted fair queuing we use the bandwidth statement and what we're going to see different with the low latency queue is that we're using the priority statement to prioritize this traffic above all other types of traffic when congestion occurs on the link. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is set up a couple of the class maps first. We're going to go under R1 and it, it must be noted that you can see from our network diagram the link between R1 and R2 is the 192.168.12.0/24 network. Then we have a loopback on R1 which is 1.1.1.0/24. Then we have a loopback 0 on R2 which is 2.2.2.2. I'm sorry. 2.2.2 dot zero slash twenty four so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under router one we're gonna set up some class maps we're gonna define our traffic and then we're gonna go ahead and create a policy map and add the classes to the policy so on R1 what we're gonna do is set up we'll name this